Thank you, Ben Troy. We're coming to you live from uh, Parliament Buildings. President William Ruto is expected to address the bicameral parliament this afternoon on his annual State of the Nation. This is the second, uh, bearing in mind that he had another uh, after being sworn in as the President of the Republic of Kenya last year, uh, that is the year 2022. This will be his second State of the Nation address, and there's so much uh, to speak about, and obviously the expectations amongst Kenyans are high, and I'm joined by Regina, uh, my colleague, who will be Having, you know, a kind of tete a conversation around um, uh, what the president is expected to speak about. But Regina, you will remember uh, that the campaign promise of President William Ruto is anchored on better uh, the bottom-up economic transformation agenda and the plan. And obviously, we would expect him to touch on that as he makes his address this afternoon. Actually, he has no choice. Uh, given the report that was given uh, recently by KNBS, it shows where the consumer price index is at. We are far, we are having fast moving consumer goods uh, increasing by an average of 20 percent then also we will have uh, the fuel issue which uh, you know VAT uh, was uh, was increased by a cool 100 percent to 16 percent this has had an overall effect on the cost of production cost of transport as well as the cost of just living and that's a conversation that even from the other leaders that we've had uh, you know had a privilege to have a conversation with in regard to their expectations this is something that the president has to address and he has to address it now mm. before it goes further. And as he addresses that amidst you know, uh, complaints of the high cost of living uh, that uh, Kenyans continue to shoulder, um, the weight of the high cost of living that Kenyans continue to shoulder. And just last about uh, last night, that Gazette notice I think appeared to complicate matters even more and you would probably also expect that the president at some point uh, will give an assurance um, that things are not about to get even harder in the coming months. Well, well, looking at what economists have said about the current leadership, uh, looking at Kenya wanting to be self-sustaining and government does not have its own money. Government generates, uh, you know, monies or revenue actually from revenues and our taxes. So we are, it's bound to get worse before it gets better. But I liked what Moshimua said. It is easy to have these costs, you know, out in the open uh, to stem corruption. Because there are people who have been taking advantage of having obscured, uh, you know, charges and prices to government services, and someone says ni pesa macho. Mm. So at a time when also government has been put in the corner when it comes to how it's happening or the handling craft, this is something they need to speak to. Mm. You know, so he has to mention something mm. about that. And I'm just curious, when was the last time? Have you ever lost a national ID card yourself? Well, I think I have uh, once, but then I had not lost it. Just when after I had applied, I discovered that I never lost the ID. So I think the, the, the replacement is lying somewhere in a chief's um, camp because I still have my ID. But like you say, and it's some of the things that some of the people we have interviewed this afternoon have spoken about. You know, the president needs to come out clearly and honestly to tell the nation where are we at at this point. Because much of what we see and the, uh, the noise around it is around the issue of um, additional taxes. We are overtaxing ourselves. But then there appears like there, like, like there has no, been no clarity on the part of the executive. Like, this is where we are going. This is the direction we are moving. This is how things are so far. Mm -hmm. And this is what we need to do before it gets better. Will it be two years? Will it be one year? Will it be mm -hmm. three years? Will it be ten? And that's the big question. How long should we mm -hmm. tighten our belts? Yeah. That's the question. Mm -hmm. Then there's also another issue that was brought up by those we interviewed mm -hmm. earlier. The question of him being a symbol of national unity. Mm -hmm. We have seen him over the last 14 months try and bring warring factions politically together and also we have seen him even hold cabinet meetings you know outside uh, the normal norms and, and also yes and also devolved uh, you know devolved national functions mm. trying to bring people together however that those who feel that whenever we start talking about you know how we are sharing uh, you know our appointments and such it's a step in the wrong direction mm. so I'm also sure he's going to speak towards national unity mm. yeah national unity of course it's very important to emphasize that the state of a nation and address is what you would call a constitutional principle where the president is empowered by the constitution once in a year to address parliament on several issues uh, as regards how the country is moving and most importantly also about honoring its foreign policy obligations.